Xiaomi is a Realme X15 and today I'll show you how to go through the setup process of the device. So when you boot it up for the first time you will be introduced with the language select as you can see right here. Choose whichever language you want. Uh, I'm gonna stick with English and tap on next. Then you will need to select your region. Now this doesn't really change much, whichever one you select. I'm gonna set the United States. And on the next page we have terms of service. Now we do have to agree to the first one, uh, terms of service. You can also tap on the blue text and read the terms of service right here. As you can see, it's a, it's a little bit of it. Um, let's assume that we already have read it, check it. And then you have a couple additional ones which are optional. Uh, you don't actually have to agree to those. And from there tap on next. You have Wi-Fi connection. And the step is again all optional. You don't need to connect to Wi-Fi. The only thing you will miss out by not connecting is uh, to have automatically pro well, ability to log into your Google account um, throughout the setup. And also the, and then after that, um, restore your device from an old Google backup. So without logging in, you will only lose those two things, which you can still do later on in the settings. I'm gonna skip this. And next we have the Wi-Fi assistant. Now this is a fairly nice feature. I would advise them uh, on enabling it. What the first one does is whenever you have multiple Wi-Fi networks that you actually know the password to, uh, for instance, you have already connected to them and the phone remembers it, uh, it will choose the best one. So whichever one is stronger, it will automatically switch to it. And once you enable this, it also gives you the option to uh, switch to your mobile network. So if both of the Wi-Fi, um, all the Wi-Fi networks that are near you are either garbage, you can then choose to uh, connect to your mobile network, which should be uh, better. Or well, in this case, uh, assuming it is better, it will switch to it. And from here, let's tap on next. And we have Google services. So we have service like location, scanning, and send user and diagnostic data. Now you can read each one of them what it exactly does. Uh, there's a, uh, well, a explanation of what it exactly does. As you can see, some of them are a little bit longer. And also, if you don't want it, you can disable that. That's still a option here. And then scroll all the way down and tap on accept. And on the next page, we'll have the ability to set a screen lock. So I'm gonna set one as an example. By default, it sets it to six digit pin, which you can completely change if you want to by tapping other encryption methods. And you will have a choice between pattern, four digit password, uh, four to 16 digit password, and alphabetical password. Choose whichever one uh, you like. I'm gonna then go with the pattern and then insert it and repeat the same thing again. And there we go. And next thing is the face recognition. Now this is uh, optional. It automatically goes through all the unlocking methods once you choose, well, set up the pattern or pin password. Um, if you don't want to enroll your face, for instance, you can tap on skip. If you do, tap on continue to launch the camera and in my case, be blocked by the microphone. It also gives you an option to raise, uh, 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 turn on raise to turn on screen. So whenever you will um, raise your phone, it will turn on the screen automatically. Also try to do face recognition and hopefully then unlock it if it succeeds. And next we have the fingerprint. I'm gonna skip this, it won't take a little bit too long. And on the next page we have uh, recommended auto update overnight. Completely up to your preference. If you want it, you can enable it. If you want to be on the latest update all the time, you can just simply check it on. And then we also have home screen icons, which allows you to set a look of icons. As you can see, you have a couple different options, um, all three specifically. And later on, once the once you do the setup, you can still download more if you want to by from the customs. Uh, there's, I assume, a store uh, that Realme has where you can download them. Um, and also, uh, normally on the Play Store, you can also find them. I'm gonna stick with the default ones, I like them the most. And from here let's tap on next and we can now import data. Now this import is using the Realme app and on your old device you will be required to download the same app 
and then connect the two devices together. They will basically use Wi-Fi, I assume, and start transferring data, whichever you choose. Um, I'm gonna opt out of that one. I'm setting it up as new, so it doesn't uh, doesn't concern me. I'm gonna select later and get started, and we're finished with the setup. So if you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.